What's up guys? And it's a pretty rainy day, but we still are able to go out. It's not too bad. So right now we're in Ogawa and we're gonna check out Kuroyama three waterfalls. So Yama is mountain and Kuro is black. So I guess it translates to uh, black mountains, three waterfalls. Uh, three is San, but I don't know what waterfall is. So I'm following the signs. I know what the Kuroyama San kanjis are. So I've been following the signs that say that. And then I'm assuming that the kanji after San for three is the kanji for waterfall. So that's how I'm, uh, I'm following it. There's uh, two parkings when you come up here. One is uh, free, it's a little bit farther down. The other one is uh, 500 yen, so about five bucks. The exchange rate is pretty good right now though, so it's a little less than five bucks. But uh, like this sign over here, I hear that first kanji is kuro, then yama, san, and then that other kanji after it, I'm assuming is waterfall. And then those three kanjis at the end, I don't know what those are. But this says uh, kuroyama basu. So there might be a bus that can take you all the way up here. I'm not too sure. And then... Uh, just to be careful, there, there are a lot of signs saying just to be careful. It's a pretty nice uh, nature walk though. But from the parking lot to, I'm assuming the waterfalls, the sign said uh, 400 meters. So uh, honestly not that far in my opinion. Pretty nice, nice drive. There is a resort at the base by the parking lots too. So I'm assuming, uh, I don't see anyone there now, but you can stay there. There are a couple cafes. They look closed right now. But there's also supposed to be, uh, my brother was telling me about there's uh, some like uh, street food vendors. There's supposed to be like dongo stalls or something. But I don't know if they just didn't set up because of the weather. I also don't know where exactly they would be set up. Maybe they're at the top. But so far, we haven't passed them at all. And then uh, my brother was also telling me that there is a restaurant that they give you a net and you can catch your own trout with the net. And then you can go ahead and eat the trout that you caught. So I think that's a pretty cool aspect. Looks like there's a... A really nice bench right here. You gotta stop and take a break. I think this is also pretty nice just because there's a lot of uh, hikes in the area. Ogawa is almost right next to, if not right next to, Tokigawa Machi where I stay. And uh, there are a lot of mountains, a lot of hikes in the mountains, a lot of trails, but from what I've seen, not all of them are, are paved like how this one is. So pretty fortunate to have both parking and paveway for your hike. And then I mean, cafes at the bottom, like nice cold cup of coffee afterwards, iced latte or something. This looks like Suriba. I think that's Ba. That kanji at the bottom. It's like, uh, it means place or location, but it can have other meanings depending on like what's in front of it and behind, you know, the spiel guys. But uh, I think that might be one of the vendors. The little flag signs over here have dongo on it. But uh, yeah, looks like they're not operating right now. It's pretty nice that you have the option of uh, going from 
the hustle and bustle of Tokyo to uh, something as tranquil as this environment right now. Let's see here. Looks like, oh, this, I wonder if this is the restaurant, the trout restaurant. That sign's talking about parking for something. It's 500 yen. I wonder if they're talking about the parking down below. If so, kind of odd to put one of their signs all the way right there. So maybe we'll see another parking lot for that restaurant. I wonder if this is a road then maybe. What is this? A shed, an old shed. So we're at a fork in the road. There's these little stairs over there that look kind of sketch. The kind of stairs that look slippery. But this looks something straight out of like a kung fu movie. You go up there and like harness your chi and whatnot. Oh, that's straight up to one of the waterfalls. Interesting. Should we go check it out? I think it'd be cool to check it out. We're at the sign right here. I can't really read what it says. Not most of it. But yeah, this is this is one of the three waterfalls, I'm almost certain. Okay, I'm going to one sec guys. Put the umbrella inward. Let's let's go check this out. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty slippery, guys. Pretty slippery indeed. And this looks sketchy. So I'm not wearing boots. Didn't really expect to uh, be doing anything so slippery, but you know. Nike's for the win. But I think the most important thing here, guys, is to go slowly. Yukuri, as they would say here. Yukuri. Okay. So this looks, uh, looks sketchy. I have to cross the river right here. Ugh. Oops. Okay, not too bad. All these soaking wet leaves, I think, are one of the, the most dangerous things to worry about. Okay, I'm just gonna hold up my umbrella a little bit more so I can hold this, this chain on the side right here. Kind of pull myself upwards. Whew. So, so far that's the view from up there. It looks like there's another uh, little path you can take right here to get all the way up the mountain. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, uh, kind of separated from my brother right now and a lot of red flags are saying not to go up there right now, just, just for safety's sake. I think if it was dry, then no problem. I would just go straight up. But the fact that the ground is really slippery, I'm not with someone physically right now. Uh, something goes wrong, it could be really dangerous and it could be in a bad situation. But if you guys come over here, you wanna explore up there, I'd say go for it. I don't see any signs that say you can't go up that way or that it's super dangerous, so like stay away. You know, I just, I just thought for a moment that there are bears here. 
I kind of just like willy nilly went straight up here. But uh, yeah, luckily there's no bear right now, but just be careful of bears. I didn't see any caution bear signs, but everyone pretty much knows that these mountains have a lot of bears. So yeah, waterfall. This is super awesome. Gotta harness my chi now and become the next Kung Fu master. Something big must have knocked down this tree right here. This is super awesome. Pretty, pretty tranquil. Just taking it all in. Pretty, pretty amazing if you ask me. This was only the first waterfall. Okay, now to get all the way back down. Got out of there, just holding the little metal chain all the way. But it looks like we're at another crossroad if you go a little bit up more. Something is up this way. I'm not sure if it's another one of the waterfalls or not. But I saw my brother go up this way, so we're gonna go up this way. And this car came up here, so I guess it's not insignificant to put up signs to advertise the parking and whatnot. What? Suzuku, let's continue. It's a lot of giant spider webs. Konnichiwa. Oh, right on, there's like a little shop up here. And they're still open. I think the where everything separated was one of the other waterfalls. And this goes up the same way that uh, that path went up the long side of the mountain. There's a little like uh, pagoda, it might be called, up there. I think that's uh, where it leads to. Oh, these are some intimidating steps. Nice little Nice little shop. Konnichiwa. Sashini desu ka? Sashin. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Kyodai. Kyodai. Hi, hi, hi. Onisan. Onisan. Hi. Hajime mashite. Watashi wa Philip des. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. So if you go up there, it looks like there's a shrine. It's nice, there's a little, like that little omiyage shop over there. It's pretty cool. I'm sure this talks about all of the waterfalls and everything. Right there, that's the, the name of the mountain run, the Kuroyama San, whatever waterfall is in Japanese about it. So I'm, I'm fairly certain that this is probably the third and final waterfall right here. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Oh, real cool. So a nice little panel of the area. And then this goes up along the mountainside too. Opposite side of, again, the other waterfall trail that I didn't go on, because Abunai, Abunai is dangerous. But it looks under the pagoda over there, there's like offerings, there's a lot of sake and candles. But all in all, this is in Ogawa. It's called Kuruyama three waterfalls. If you Google Kuruyama, uh, K-U-R-O-Y-A-M-A, uh, uh, three waterfalls, you'll, you'll get this place. But that's going to do it for this one, and I hope you guys have a good one.